Hey guys, how are you all? In this video, I'll be showing you how the reinforcement of the raft foundation is placed at the side. Okay, so it's a raft foundation. Uh, the length is from here to here and the width is from here to here. So it's the entire curve. Uh, this hatched portion uh, is a shear wall and this black box is the column. Okay, so uh, this raft foundation consists of the double net and the top net consists of uh, 12.5 mm dia bars uh, placed 100 mm center to center. TB indicates top and bottom that is uh, the net consists of top and bottom bars placed uh, 100 mm center to center of 12 5 mm tie bar okay so uh, same consists uh, same consists for the bottom bar and the bottom uh, net okay so uh, the thickness of this raft foundation is 350 mm uh, and uh, there is a small hook at the end of each uh, reinforcement uh, all right so now uh, we will see at the site how uh, this reinforcement is arranged okay all right so i am at the site now uh, as you can see it's a full raft and it consists of two nets top net and the bottom net all right so uh, this is a top net and uh, this one is the bottom net so top net consists of 12 phi dia bars spaced 100 mm center to center it means that uh, this bar this bar and this bar has been placed at 100 mm and uh, and same goes for uh, these two bars and a similar net has been placed at the bottom and these two uh, nets are separated by uh, 16 mm dia uh, chair as you can see here so it's a 16 mm dia chair and it separates top and bottom net okay so uh, these vertical uh, rebars are all 12 mm dia bars and they are for the shear wall all right okay all right so okay so this is how the uh, reinforcement for the raft foundation is provided all right okay so the reinforcement is nothing but consists of two kinds of net as i've shown you earlier top net and the bottom net and the reinforcement is provided as per the drawing Uh, this is the edge of the footing as you can see uh, the bars have been uh, hooked at the edge uh, I hope uh, it's clear in the video all right so it's a that is a, a 50 mm core block and it's a form walk okay so you have to maintain a gap of 50 mm between the core block uh, between the rebar and the uh, form walk all right okay so and uh, these are the shear wall uh, rebars as I've shown you earlier. All right, and uh, so they have got their own development length. Okay. All right, so hope uh, this video was helpful. And if it was, hit like and subscribe for more awesome videos. Thank you.